From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. Rapid City Police responded to the area of Knollwood Drive in North Maple Avenue Wednesday afternoon after reports of three gunshots being heard. Police say the gunshots came from the area of the Sage Place Apartments. This generated a large law enforcement response, and officers worked to clear the building where the shots were heard. During their efforts to clear the building, police located no one with injuries or anyone immediately related to the gunfire. Police are investigating the incident. The winter storm caused a U-Haul to crash into an apartment building. Amy Rose explains. Early yesterday morning, a U-Haul truck crashed into an apartment building after the driver lost control on snow and ice packed North 5th Street. According to the Rapid City Police Department, the driver was traveling south on 5th Street when he lost control of the truck, jumped the median, hit a pickup truck, and then went over a retaining wall, coming to rest between the wall and an apartment building. The driver of the U-Haul was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The pickup driver and a person in the apartment were not injured. Twice yesterday, the South Dakota House of Representatives fell one vote short of approving legislation that sought to establish a Center for American Exceptionalism at Black Hill State University. HB 1070, sponsored by Republican Scott Odenbeck, called for $150,000 to get the center started at the Spearfish campus. Because it was a request for a special appropriation, the bill needed a two-thirds majority of at least 47 yes votes from the 70 representatives. Instead, it got 46 on the first try. Odenbeck had the bill reconsidered. A few hours later, on a second try, it again received 46. In national and international news, former President Donald Trump's lawyers in Georgia are criticizing the Fulton County investigation into potential illegal election meddling after the foreperson of the special grand jury seated to help the probe went public this week. Trump lawyers Drew Feindling and Jennifer Little say, despite having concerns about the panel's proceedings from the start, they kept quiet out of respect for the process. But the Trump lawyers say the revelations offered by special grand jury foreperson Emily Coors compelled them to speak up. Coors shared numerous anecdotes from the proceedings that she found amusing and was very expressive in television interviews, sometimes laughing or making faces. Feindling says that the reliability of what took place is called into question. A Florida TV reporter was shot and killed while covering a shooting. Amy Rose has the story. A Florida television station says 24-year-old reporter Dylan Lyons was fatally shot while covering an earlier shooting. Spectrum News 13 photojournalist Jesse Walden was critically injured in the Wednesday afternoon shooting near Orlando. Orange County Sheriff John Mina says the shooter then walked to a nearby home and fatally shot a nine-year-old girl. Her mother was critically injured in the shooting. Mina says they've detained 19-year-old Keith Melvin Moses, who is believed to be responsible for both shootings. So far, investigators say they don't have a motive for either shooting. One year after President Vladimir Putin launched his invasion of Ukraine, both countries are preparing for offensives that could set the stage for a potentially even more disastrous phase of the war. Russia has intensified its push to capture all of the Donbas in Ukraine's eastern industrial heartland. Kyiv and its western allies also say Moscow could try to launch a wider and more ambitious attack somewhere else along the front line. Ukraine is waiting for battle tanks and other new weapons from the west to reclaim occupied areas. What's nowhere in sight is a settlement of Europe's biggest conflict since World War II. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Partly sunny skies today with a high of 3, low tonight, 10 below. And that was your Daily Slice for Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.